Hello players, this is Freyza and today I'm going to show you how to use Rocket Propulsion using Roblox Lua. If you haven't got Roblox Studio 2013 open in uh, edit mode or build mode, I advise opening it now and preferably an empty map and opening Explorer, Properties and Outputs window in the View tab as per usual. In the Roblox Earlier Wiki, I have the Rocket Propulsion object page open where I'll be looking at the methods and properties used and also this event named Reach Target. First off, um, two important methods are Fire and Abort. What Fire does is it shoots the ro rocket propulsion towards the target that we set. And target, by the way, is um, one of the more important properties that I'll get to in a moment. You can tell it's important because it's listed in like every uh, here is target and uh, described as what part the object will fly towards. Abort does the opposite of fire, whereas fire shoots the, ro uh, the rocket propulsion, um, causing it to fly towards its target. Abort cancels it completely, unlike um, body velocity and uh, such it won't keep flying towards it even after you move it. Um, it relies on physics more than uh, things like body velocity but uh, when you remove it, um, it will stop flying entirely, uh, funnily enough. And the beauty of uh, rocket propulsion is it has a lot of wee, um, properties here to uh, allow it to be more physics-like depending on our needs. So. It um, really is a handy uh, instance. Yes, as an instance, uh, as I'll insert it into a part here. And we can see all these properties listed uh, here anyway, but yeah. The important ones um, are turn P, thrust P, target radius. Um, for later, because it uh, works in coherence with the reach target event. Um, target, of course, because this is what makes it all uh, will work. Um, the max thrust, max speed, max torque, blah blah blah. Those ones don't really matter much unless you want to be really specific about um, everything. But I find if you set the max speed only, things tend to work fine anyway. Um, but it's, uh, it's really just depends on how picky you want to be with whatever you're making. Also, one thing you need to take into um, account is the size of the part that you're firing will mean that um, the amount of force you need to apply to that part to make it fly towards its target differs greatly. So if you're using like a tiny part, then um, a thrust P and turn P um, won't need any higher than 200. Um, but if you're trying to fire an entire player, um, like with um, my 3D maneuver gear that I made in Script Builder, uh, you'll need a lot of power, so keep that in mind and experiment a little. And if you're not flying and you aren't using the fire, oh, yeah, the fire um, events, then because that's often a problem that you just forget to fire the um, the rocket propulsion. Um, anything else important? Well, uh, cartoon factor. What cartoon factor um, changes is well, I'll read out its description. Sets the tendency for the brick with the rocket propulsion to face its target. Um, yeah, I guess that kind of thing's handy for a shuriken if you don't want it to face its target because it's spinning anyway. It could be handy, but I can't think of an awful lot of uses for that. But um, yeah. Uh, anyway. Let's get on with this. Behind me I have a dart board and um, I've set it up so that script and workspace will clone a dart here and fire it towards this middle target here. And I will explain that script while uh, looking at the rocket propulsion instance here. So let's go in full screen mode and uh, check this. The script itself is only 11 lines l l <laughs> 11, blah, blah, 11 lines are long. That's a tongue twister. First, it inserts, uh, no, it clones Dart from Workspace, uh, which is the wee Dart I have lying here. 
so that we don't need to keep replacing the same darts. And then I insert a rocket propulsion instance into the copied dart. Then I paint into the dart workspace C frame it to where the other dart is. And then I add it to debris after 5 seconds. Um, using the inbuilt function add item to debris with the first argument being the part that I want to remove dart and then a comma and then 5 being the second argument of the amount of seconds till it adds to debris so effectively adding dart to debris after 5 seconds removing it. And since our rocket propulsion is paired into to dart this will remove everything after 5 seconds. R.thrustP equals 200 and R.turnP equals 200 meaning that it will have low turn power and thrust power but since the dart is tiny it will actually be quite high um, if you like want to limit it but um, you're not sure how much pressure you need you could just set turn p and turn um, and thrust p to math.huge and then you could set the max force and max speed to limit it um, and also uh, turn d and turn uh, and thrust d sorry um, these uh, are limiters on the thrust p and thrust and turn p um, properties so um, it is a lot of like um, power ups and limitations you could say allowing you to control it effectively. The curtain factor is 5, I'm not sure if it does anything above 1 but I'm setting it to 5 anyway and uh, then last but not least we have um, the target which is set to the, t the workspace dot targ which is the middle uh, black circle here and um, then R fire at the end, allowing it to fire towards its target, the dartboard. Um, and I will demonstrate the script now. You might have missed that, so I will repeat it. Yeah, there we have it, the dart uh, flies towards its target. And now let's try turning cartoon factor to zero. And it fires in a straight line, uh, which looks a lot better. And now I mentioned earlier that I would um, get on to... Uh, wrong place. The reach target event um, and target radius. So we'll want to set the target radius to, uh, in this case, I'm not sure what your case is, but I'll uh, explain as I go along in my case. R dot target radius equals 1. What target radius does is um, when, well, first let's just explain what this number is. This number is the amount of studs, uh, is an, am an amount of studs. So the target radius is 1, meaning it can be 1 stud away from the target. I'm going to set that to 2 actually. And um, what this does is um, when the the item you're firing towards your target um, is two studs away, f well in this case two studs away from the target, it will fire the reach target event. So um, I will demonstrate that now. R dot reached target connect bang. And function bang end. If dart then dart dot anchor equals true end. And R then R abort. And this will run abort inbuilt function, which will cancel the velocity entirely um, and anchor it. Oh, actually, uh, wait and then, so that it will have a weekend of down effect, um, possibly. Yeah, so this is the reach target uh, function, you could say, um, which activates when the reach target event is fired. Um, by the part reaching its target set prior to the shooting. It's a little hard, it's a little, it's a little bit much to take in, but if you read over the wiki, um, 
explanations you might get after a try or two. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, try this. And as you can see, our uh, target anchors two studs away, so um, it shows that uh, one stud is too far away, so I'll set it to 0 0.5. And as you can see it will never reach the target, this happens quite often so it takes a bit of um, working out to get it perfect, otherwise it will like um, not be completely accurate or be completely inaccurate so I'll set it to 1. one5 Oh, and as you can see there, if your uh, dynamic visual faculty is uh, up to check, you'll see that it bounced off of it in that tiny weight. So that's the problem here. Oh, that's much better. I recommend uh, messing around with rocket propulsion, maybe make it shoot yourself, or when you click a target, it fires at it, or you could even add a click detector, which um, when you click on it, uh, it will fire something towards her, or what not, you could add a wee social dark game to your uh, or mini game to your uh, social game or whatnot, or um, add it a fighting game or um, even make a 3D maneuver gear by making you fire t the player this character themselves fly towards the target but um, that's basically the gist of it uh, well thanks for watching, please comment, rate and uh, subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one good day players